Now back to the Trump presidency. The president on his way to South Florida today. He's expected to land in West Palm Beach this evening to spend Super Bowl weekend at Mar-a-Lago. Mar Margaret Brennan, the moderator of Face the Nation, sat down with President Trump before he left Washington. Margaret, your interview with the president airs on Super Bowl Sunday. What did you take away from the discussion? Well, you know, the president's going to Florida for the first time in a long time because uh, the government's finally reopened. And what was clear from our conversation is that uh, he doesn't want to take the threat of another government shutdown off the table, but he basically is looking for a way to bypass Congress build this border wall uh, and, and really cut Congress out of it in a way that could face some real legal challenges. He had really sharp words for Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. He's very frustrated that he hasn't been able to get done uh, one of the main things he campaigned on and promised to do. So. A uh, real spirited exchange on that, as well as uh, where he plans to keep U.S. troops and pull them back from uh, in conflicts around the world, and an interesting conversation about football and whether he'd let his young son play. Hmm, interesting. What did the president have to say about Venezuela, Margaret? Uh, I did ask the president about whether he would be open to negotiating with Nicolas Maduro uh, about an exit, because that's what the White House is demanding. Uh, he basically wasn't interested uh, when I pushed him on that, did say he had considered meeting with Maduro a few months ago, but that at the moment he, he didn't see a path to get involved. All right, Margaret, look forward to your interview with President Trump on Sunday. Face the Nation moderate, uh, moderator Margaret Brennan will sit down with the president for that wide-ranging discussion. You can see parts of that interview twice this Sunday on Face the Nation and during the Super Bowl pregame show.